So have you deleted a blue weapon here recently? Trust me, guys. I have done it so many times. Didn't think much about it. Just automatically deleted it. And it turns out here recently, after discovering some of these things by watching other YouTubers, that these weapons are actually better than their legendary counterparts. Shout out to Cool Guy and JMP because I would know nothing about these weapons and would not have actually went out on a self-discovery mission myself to figure out which one of these guns is actually the ones you should be getting and keeping. Make sure when you get these weapons, guys, to automatically lock them because we know how we all are. We automatically delete that shit without thinking. So, guys, let's get started. First up, guys, we've got Sundog. Now, Sundog is a submachine gun. Knew nothing about it. JMP put a video out a couple days ago, and he actually mentions this weapon being the twin sister to Anio. Now, if you don't know what Anio is, then you haven't watched Real Crafty or Gamer Guy that much. Those guys love Anio. Myself, I like it too. I play with Anio a bunch. I think it's nasty, and it's one of the best, if not the best, SMG in the game, especially when you get kill cup going. Now something that's so amazing about Sunduck, it has the same exact perks and damn near the same stats. You got kill clip here, you also got ricochet rounds and the iron sights and of course precision frame. Now essentially everything is the same. The weapon looks the same, it's got the same perks damn near it. Everything is identical. So there really is no reason to use Anio even over this gun. I was using it this morning and was having a fantastic time with it. And of course kill clip is just so nasty on this art type of SMG. Next up, guys, is Armillary PSU. Now, this is a scout rifle, and it's a very interesting one. It has quick draw, high caliber rounds, and red dot OAS. And, of course, it's got precision frame, which is essentially just counterbalance. It makes everything more vertical. Guys, if you're looking, if you like that 180 round per minute art type, which is essentially the same thing as, what's that, Midnight, uh, Nameless Midnight Gun, that, that is one of my favorite ones. It's got explosive rounds on it. But if you like that art type, that's one of your favorites, but you want something with a little more punch, you want some high caliber rounds on it, because high count definitely messes with people's aim, this weapon is for you. Something I really like about this thing as well is it's got Red Dot OAS, which is essentially like a zoom that we brought from Destiny 1. It's uh, almost identical to some of the zooms that I really like, some of the scopes from D D1, and it, it, it keeps everything kind of more open. You're not necessarily so zoomed in. And so to me, this 180 round per minute weapon, which you would assume to be more of a far off, far range type weapon, is now pretty deadly up close. It snags some really good shots, and on top of that, quick draw is really nice when you need to whip it out in time to pull you out of a jam. Number three on the list is a sniper that I received the pretty much the very beginning of the game action. Now this sucker right here has snapshot, it also has armor piercing rounds, which doesn't really help, but it also has ambush. Ambush is really, really nice, and of course, there's a there's a pro and con to ambush. The pro is it's snappy, it's super snappy, especially when you got something like snapshot sights in on it as well. It's agile, it can immediately go into the zoom and snag those shots. The con is that it does take a tremendous amount of flinch. Just about anything that shoots you, you will flinch a bunch, which means you more than likely won't be able to land the crit shot while taking even the slightest bit of damage. But outside of that, man, Atchin is a fantastic gun. Actually, I think MTash was the first one to make a video about this weapon right here, and it is a great one to use in Crucible. And it's one that I really like, especially since I'm a more aggressive sniper and don't necessarily like the far lane and, and single lane things. Next up, guys, is Azimuth, and I guess that's how we say, Azimuth DSU. Now, again, another weapon will kill clip, but this one's really interesting. It's not only got kill clip, it has high caliber rounds, and it's got these crossfire sights. Now, you can actually go fast draw if you want. I just kept mine on crossfire and just kind of maximize that range. It didn't bother me that much. It really, really wasn't. You think that you need more stability in handling, but the weapon is really good it's really stable uh surprisingly the the recoil is just so vertical so straight up and down now something that's really nice about this weapon and by the way shout out to cool guy because i knew nothing of this weapon either he was the first one to actually make a video on this thing is that it could potentially two tap people and i think any guardian that is two i think is it two resilience or less or three resilience or less you can actually two tap them which is incredible now i was not taking advantage of the two tapping aspect of it i was just more or less taking advantage of just the extra bit of damage when kill clip was actually rolling it was nice i would just go in there and just honestly once i landed that crit i just spam bodies man i didn't even care to get the nice crispy 
two tap but he can it can definitely two tap for you on those guardians that are low resilience now the high caliber rounds definitely plays a role man it was definitely flinching and messing up people and something that i really like about this hand cannon which is i don't know it seems to evade some of our other ones and and i think it's just for the 110 round per minute i don't know if the rate of fire is just so slow that the weapons themselves just seem more consistent but i, I find them to be very consistent just why a huge reason why i like bad news this art type has, has become one of my favorite art types of hand cannons and it's such an unusual because it's essentially it's a first curse art type it's a very slow rate of fire art type but i find azimuth is a great hand cannon that can outclass a lot of hand cannons in crucible it's so crazy it's a rare <laughs> Alright guys, next up is Sandwas. Now Sandwas is extremely good. Knew nothing about this weapon until this last weekend. My friend Dingo on Discord actually pointed it out to me. He said that this gun was really good. He actually sent me a screenshot. I was like, holy crap, I gotta get that gun. Lo and behold, I actually got it. And again, a lot of these guns are just rare drops that you can be getting them out of. Now this gun right here comes with high caliber rounds. And that's what makes this gun so nasty. Is that the rounds per minute is already 720. So Yurio's Gift is a 450 round per minute weapon. It's a slower rate of fire weapon but even then high caliber rounds on it is extremely nasty right it messes up your aim now you can imagine what sand wasp is able to do to you being such a fast rate of fire weapon and it just spraying into you man especially with high caliber rounds that work here honestly that's what makes this auto rifle good to begin with uh it's very similar i think to the valakadin i think that's how we say it uh essentially that's its counterpart but guys fantastic weapon you gotta get your hands on it well guys, those are the top five rares. I will be updating the description as we get even more information on how to obtain all of these weapons. So feel free to check the description, see which place is actually best, because there's actually some events that award these directly. They're actually direct drops from those different adventures or events or lost sectors. And so I'll be updating that as we gather even more information on the matter, as well as the comment section. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this kind of guide and this kind of setup, man, I really appreciate it if you left me a like. It helps me out. And I just, I don't know, I'm kind of doing things a little differently. I took a little more passive around this time. It's not that long of a video. It's more informative, more straight to the point. There's no really loud music or anything in between. Gameplay, if you like this kind of thing, would love to hear your comments below. You know, a little feedback from y'all, man. It really goes a long way in how I structure my future videos. Guys, as always, thank you so much for coming and watching. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.